Hi everybody, I am here to show off this new beautiful set of Scribble Flowers by Rachel Greek. Um, this is quickly becoming one of my most favorite um, stamp sets. It's so fun to play with, so I wanted to do a quick video and just show you how I've been playing with these. Um, I have a watercolor pad here, and I'm going to tear this off just because I was doing some earlier. And the reason why I'm using watercolors for this is just, you kind of get a really fun effect that I wanted to play with. So I'm gonna have my little watercolor set here. And I'm gonna kind of, you could use a pencil even if you wanted, but I'm lazy. So I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate the size of my bloom here. So it's about this size. It's okay if this isn't perfect. It just looks cool no matter what you do. And you can do something monochromatic for sure. When you just add a little bit of really bright color in the center it just spreads out and does all the work for you i mean how spectacular is that so i'm going to do one more um in blue here and this time i'm going to pick a different color in the center so that you can get a two-tone shape. So I'm gonna pick a green, which is not, it's not like super vibrant here. But when it dries, it will look spectacular. So I have some that I did already and they are dried. So you do want this, you know, in order for this to work properly, you want it to completely dry. So I have some archival ink here. So it's permanent ink from Ranger. And I'm just gonna stamp it on my circle. And then I'm just gonna guesstimate and stamp that onto my shape. And I'm gonna do that on all my flowers. But once you get the scribble writing on there, it just looks so neat with the gradient color underneath. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I just love it so much. So this is much smaller than the big one. Um, for some reason, I thought the big one was a little smaller, but that's fine, because I'm gonna show you how it looks even if you don't do the full shape, it'll still work out great. I may not have put enough ink on there, we'll see. Okay, pretty darn cool. I just love how this looks. Isn't that so amazing? And then what you can do is cut it out and I think personally, it's fun to kind of just do a wobbly cutout kind of around the scribbly um, wording. And do something like that. If there's too much white, I can take it off. But it just looks beautiful like that. And what I've done is stamped out the stems on here. So the set comes with different stems. And let me just do that real quick. Oh, I have a piece right here. And what you can do is stamp, like stamp it and then color it in, which I've done in the past. You can leave it black and white and do a play on that as well. Um, it's really up to you. Oh my gosh, you may hear my children upstairs 
not being quiet. I'm so sorry if you hear them. Okay, so you can stamp it on there or tape it on there. Um, it just comes out so beautifully. I have a couple here that are big ones and a small one. So it's, it's just such a fun set to play with. Um, I really hope you check it out because I am telling you, I have been playing with this all weekend and I am just totally enamored with the beautiful flowers that you can make with this set. So check it out, try it out and tag everyone if you do try it out because we would love to see that. Thank you so much.